and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Reanimator. That's right, we have a donation deck that we're going to be playing through a league. Um, this one is all about trying to put in Agent of Treachery, Flicker Agent of Treachery, steal a whole lot of things. But it has like some good, um, one. I think one, it'll be pretty consistent at doing that. And two, it has some good backup plans also. So let's kind of take a look at some of our new cards uh, from Theros to go in our reanimator deck. This two drop seems just perfect for the deck. The zombie merfolk, Meyer, Triton, one in a black, two, one, death touch. When it enters the battlefield, you mill over two cards and you gain two life. That's just exactly everything that you want. You know, you get to gain life, you get to mill cards, and it's also a 2-1 blocker, which is just an amazing blocker. You know, like it can block, like, whatever it blocks it's trading with, because it has the death touch. Um, like, this, so that death touch part is awesome. So, yeah, this this card looks like a huge upgrade um, to have in the 2-mana two, two slot. And then we also have Thirst for Meaning, which is probably going to be amazing also. 3-mana instant, draw 3, discard 2. Um, unless you discard an enchantment, but, you know, we probably won't be discarding an enchantment. Our only enchantment in the deck is Thassa. Um, but still, just draw three, discard two. That's perfect. You know, like, you just want to... It's basically like draw one and then also loot twice. And that's just exactly what we want to be doing um, in this deck. So, yeah, like, that card also looks awesome. Um, but, yeah, we do have two Thassas. Thassa works really well with, with both of our, our low drop creatures, Meyer Triton and Tonebound Lich. Um, you know, we can flicker either of those to, to get those um, ETB effects again. But, of course, we want to play Thassa on turn four because turn five, we want to put Agent of Treachery into play from our graveyard. So hopefully we had, between Meyer Triton, Thought Erasier, Surveilling One, uh, Me Th Thirst for Meaning, Tonebound Lich, hopefully one of these cards are Discovery, Surveilling Two, and then drawing a card for us. Hopefully with all this stuff, we can get Agent of Treachery in our graveyard. And then we either use Bond Revival to bring it back or Concoct. The second half of Knife Concoct. The Surveil 3, return target or return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So yeah, that can also help find us the card as well. Besides Angel Treachery, we got two other big things to, to reanimate. We got a Scholar of the Ages that can bring back a bunch of instants and sorceries uh, to our hand. And then we also have a Dracuseth, just because the power of Dracuseth with Boundary Fievel is just so much that we should just be playing one Dracuseth. It's it's not something that our deck's like really built around that we're trying to do, you know, like we're really more trying to do the Agent of Treachery, and we have the backup plan of hard casting Agent of Treachery, where we don't have the backup plan of hard casting Dracuseth. But Dracuseth's so powerful that we got that in here. Um, and then we got a couple of sweepers to help us stay alive, and that's the deck. Sideboard wise, um, against people that shut down our graveyard, we can kind of bring in a backup plan of playing Thief of Sanity and Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Um, that's kind of like our backup plan in sideboard games. And then we just have different uh, removal and counter magic as well. And then, yeah, of course. Yeah, so we want to play our Thassa on turn four and then turn five for reanimate Agent of Treachery, flicker the, the Agent of Treachery with Thassa. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. All right, so Demir Reanimator. Let's give it a try. So we're going to play it through a league, see if we can win five before we lose a two, whatever happens first. So here we go. Okay, we can keep this. <laughs> yeah, this is not a, a real fun deck to play against, that's for sure. It's a very treacherous deck. Ugh. I would love I would love this to be like my second card down, so I could discovery and put it into the graveyard. But that's just going to be us drawing it. So I think that we're just going to put it on the bottom. Wow. That was a good discovery. <laughs> Do not want to draw those cards. Yeah, if we play against a deck that shuts down our graveyard, then yeah, we're... Uh, 
Yeah, then we're turning kind of into a control deck at that point. We already have Agent of Treachery in the graveyard. Let's discard the Dracuseth. We can never ca actually cast Dracuseth, where we could cast an Agent of Treachery also. So why is it good that we're putting strong cards in the graveyard? Because we can bring those cards back. Because we have... Um, that's what that's the design of our deck. We have Bond Revival and Concoct. Both of these, for five mana, bring back these cards that usually cost seven mana. Um, I think I just want to trade Tonebound Lich for Midnight Reaper. Okay. They do not want to trade. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, I'll keep Thassa. Oh, where are you going, Hawkeye? I was going to move the camera down. Alright, I'll take it. Ow. No, I haven't played a, a mill deck recently. Wait, what? They took the Agent Treachery? Alright, so pretty sure if we go get Dracuseth, like they just have their three mana open, they're probably going to. If we go get Dracuseth, they're probably just going to kill the Dracuseth. So I'm going to Agent of Treachery. I'm going to steal the Witch's Oven so they can't just sacrifice the stuff that we are trying to... Um, that we're trying to steal. Hey, Ollie, how am I feeling? I'm a little bit better than yesterday, but I'm still not 100%. But I'm improving. They'd still have the three mana for Ryder the next the next turn. <clears throat> hmm. So I can just connive and steal the Ayara. I think I get Thassa in play though. I think I get it, this engine going. Thank you. How's Hawkeye? He's not, not doing better. Not doing better. Um, he's going into the vet tomorrow for a, his checkup. You know, where they're going to try to figure out exactly what's wrong with him. But I took him in today just to get vitamins and fluids to just you know, help keep them going and everything. Um... We should probably just do this. So 
So you do four damage, three damage, three damage. Just kill all the stuff. They should sack the Grey Merchant to a Yara. They're still taking a lot of damage. How expensive is a visit at the vet? Um, I don't know. Pretty, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. I'm expecting it to be like, it'll probably be like $500 tomorrow. That's my guess. Give me that. Mono red and Boros. Okay. So yeah, pretty expensive. Hey, what's up, Rex? I'm doing just fine. Yeah, so that worked out perfectly as planned. That's that's what our deck's supposed to do. Alright, so sideboard, they're just mono black. Um, all right, so Calsonic wants some more mono red, um, and Boros. Hey, Fat Butters. I'll write that down. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's our very first game with the deck. So the question is, how consistently do we have that kind of game? I guess it's 100% of games, because that's our very first game. So one for one. I don't really want Ritual of Soot, so I think I want to play an E2 Extinction. What if this is like a good Thief of Sanity matchup, even though I mean, I just play Thief of Sanities. I mean, I just do that and take out a Meyer Triton also. The sideboard needs more counter spells. Counters are cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think this deck is is probably pretty consistent at doing what it's doing. Exile. Hmm. Another land. Do you need some more lands? Could you climb to mythic and best of one with this? Um, I mean, I guess it depends on your your time. You know, like how much time you're going to be taking. Because um, you know, like a lot of that is is just a, a large time commitment. Because, honestly, I mean, you can really climb to Mythic with, with just about anything. And so, yes, yes, I think you definitely can climb to Mythic with this. But it wouldn't be, like, the, the best, like, the deck to get you there the shortest amount of time. <sighs> Spawn of Mayhem is going to be rough. I think this is a better best of one deck than best of three deck. Yeah, so like if, if you like playing best of one, I mean I think this is a good best of one deck. An 
Annex Embercleave. I, I've never seen Annex Embercleave together. I don't really have an opinion on that. It's, I mean, Embercleave plus anything is strong, so I would assume it's strong. That, that's what makes my life better if they're not attacking with Spawn of Mayhem. We saw every Agent of Treachery, the other one's at the bottom. And I'll have two in the graveyard. Interesting. All right, they're going for the quick win. Hey, Guru, good evening. Um, oh, these are great. I was hoping to find something to get rid of the spawn of mayhem. Because obviously that thing is beating me up pretty bad. Would you put Thassa in the Lumbering Battlement deck? Yeah. Yeah, if you're making a Lumbering Battlement deck, I think you, I definitely think you want Thassa in it. Like, if it's blue-white. So I'm basically dead. If they just attack out, do I die? Yeah. I am now dead if they just attack out. There's not an attack I can make that makes me stay alive. Or there's not a block I can make that, that I stay alive. They just attack, attack all. I mean, this is our first match of the deck, so I don't, I don't know exactly how we'll perform against Simic. I don't know. All right, so a bunch of Spawn of Mayhems. Make my Thieva Sandy plan not look so good. Switch it back up. Get E to Extinction. Hmm. It's one of Mayhem's a little annoying. Could just play a couple Legion's Ends also. Try to exile Cat and I guess Fenlurker, which Cry the Carnarium does both of those. We'll just play one Legion's End, one Cry, one Eat to Extinction. And the first creature, you play this deck right now, and the first creature your opponent played was Hushbringer. Oh, gross. Hopefully you draw one of the Ritual of Sets. Man, this hand would be really good if we had a black mana source. This would be really good. Wow. Like, the, just even the two lands like it is, that would be perfect. I think it's too risky to keep without it, though. Okay, well, this is basically a perfect hand also. I guess I have to get rid of Thassa because we need all the other cards. I mean, Legion's End is very good. I mean, it's very good against Cauldron Familiar, but they only have like Cauldron Familiar and Urox Fenlurker as like the only two targets for it, right? Like that's it. 
but then if they do have witches oven it's not as not as good of a target oh there's a there's a priest in here So they could play Fenlurker and they could sacrifice both to get rid of my Lich. Um, Yeah, I'd be I'd be surprised if they sacrifice both. It's annoying. We need to find one of our seven reanimate spells that we have left, because they duressed one away. But not this turn. We're milling one, one card over. Cool. Worked out. We are really good at finding our agent treacheries, though. We've drawn three plus every single game. Witch's Oven is annoying again, because now if I steal stuff, I can just sacrifice it. Yet again. I think we're dead. Yeah, the yeah you can find the list here for the Golgari enchantments. I posted a couple of days ago. We just haven't been able to play it yet. Hmm, that's lethal. GG's. Good match. They got us that last game, the duress for, you know, like we mulligan, but then they took, the duress takes my reanimate spell, I don't find another, and then they kind of had it all. Priest, Ayara. They kind of had it all. No, I'm not, I'm not feeling 100% yet, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I 
I think I want to go Discovery turn two to look for lands. Okay, we, we know we have a land, so I'm going to go Mire Triton. There's some more lands. Yeah, one day at a time. What are my thoughts for mesmerizing Benthid for the deck? I think that Benthid is not as strong of a five mana card as the Cavaliers. And you know, there's a there's a a real limit to how many five mana cards you want to put in your deck. Um, so yeah, so I'm not so I'm not too big on uh, mesmerizing Benthid. It's Darn, we didn't actually put... I mean, I, I do need a fifth land. Let's just keep it. Didn't actually put anything into the graveyard to use for Blood for Bones yet, so we're going to have to discover next turn. Um, I mean, I, I like Benthid as a card. Like, I've, I've always like, kind of wanted to play that card. So I'm going to put it in, like, different uh, Vanifar decks and stuff, but... But realistically, for that deck, I think um, the Cavaliers are probably going to be stronger. <laughs> that was six lands in a row. <laughs> yeah, because we kept the two lander. Every single other card was just land so far, right? I think it... Yeah, I think so. So it's actually been one, two, three, four, five, six... I think it may have been seven. Right? Oh, uh, we put an Agent Treachery down to the bottom somehow. Oh, with the temple. So I guess there was one agent treachery in there. I mean, I could ritual of soot. Whatever. All right, we got Concoct for next turn. Okay, you don't have the Cavaliers who subbed in Benthid. Yeah, that's that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, it's definitely good against aggro for sure. And it's, I mean, it could be better than the Cavaliers against aggro. All right, let's just cast Concoct and see what we get. Uh, we didn't get anything. Just more lands. Alright, well we surveilled all those cards over. It was last match that we got all the Agent of Treacheries. The deck's like, now you don't get Agent of Treacheries this match. There's a new blue six mana card that mills target player for ten cards on ETB. What about that in the flicker deck. Could be like a sideboard thing against slow decks. But not convinced it's too necessary for the main deck. As for control, cure best the sea god is a win con. Is that plausible? It's certainly plausible, but I don't really see that being the best use of Kiora best the sea god. I think that that card is going to be better when uh, discard. No, I don't want to discard enchantment. Discard these things. I think it's going to be better in like an attacking deck. Where, well, they're just a deck with creatures, where like the second chapter when you tap their, like all their non-land permanents, they don't untap, and then you can swing in for alpha and just and attack them for a bunch. I think that's the best use of the card. Um, uh, 
Okay. Let's hack this thing. Let's put Scholar of the Ages back into play. And, I don't know, Meyer Triton back in my hand. And I want my Concoct and Blood for Bones back. And now we'll mill over a couple more. So we just spent six mana. Our hand is the same, except for we drew the Concoct. And we put a 3-3 a three, three into play. So for six mana, we didn't use any cards. We just put a 3-3 three, three into play and put this into our hand. Oh, no! Poor opponent. Uh, that's such a bummer. Man, I don't even want to age and treachery this opponent. It's so mean. Yeah, it was definitely a misclick. Yeah, I know. That's it's really unfortunate. Yeah, Blood for Bones with Agent of Treachery is pretty mean. Yeah, we'll we'll see if I do the full stream today. I am not not feeling perfect. I like I'm not I'm not all the way better. But I'm feeling better than yesterday. Um So we'll just kind of play it by ear. <clears throat> Hawkeye is not doing so good. Going into the vet tomorrow to really f try to figure out what's wrong with them. I took him in today also because just pretty worried about him, how he's not eating or drinking. I took him in today to get some vitamins and fluids in him. Alright, I'm going to play a Cry of the Canarium and a couple Legion's Ends. I don't know. We don't need to do that. Yeah, I think we're playing against a beginner deck. Which this yeah, the deck that we're playing is already a, a mean deck that takes all the opponent's cards. Yeah, I just hope I hope they can figure out what's wrong and get him to start eating again. I 
I would like that agent treachery in my graveyard, thank you. Hawkeye is like 12. Time to bring back Agent and Treachery next turn. Okay, um, let's just attack. We'll sack the agent treachery, bring it back. Take that land. counted it up and I have like it's basically about the same number it's like you know between like 25 and 30 that I, there's like 25 and 30 like total rares left in the set that I haven't opened with all the packs I've opened and wild cards I've used for different decks and there's also like 25 or 30 copies of like mythics that I haven't opened yet either <laughs> so it's, it's a, it takes a lot longer to get all the mythics than get all the rares even with there being you know 50 rares. It's usually like 53 rare, 15 mythic. Um, I haven't no, I haven't done any drafting. Um, I haven't seen a Vanifar combo deck either. Uh, I don't know. Like this has like Ritual of Soot. We got some reanimate stuff. I want to keep this. Yeah, I just. Purchased the 165 packs. You know, like we, um, you know, got like 50 from the pre-release. Used a lot of like all the gold that I had in my account to buy lots more packs. You know, that I'd been saving up for a couple months. No, I, I didn't use. No, I'm not gonna be doing the seal tokens on stream. I just, honestly, I just uh, opened them up and then conceded and just went 03 in those sealed things. Just to get the cards and the packs and stuff. Okay, this is definitely a risky hand. Didn't find blue mana. My opponent milled over my blue mana. I was mean of them. So 
So they're a self mill deck also. We're both self mill decks. Discarded the old fashioned way. Too many cards in hand. Ugh. Even another swap, we could bond a revival. Come on. Of course, my opponent mills over two blue sources, and then we draw nothing but blue cards. That's crazy. What's up, QQ? Getting that resub in 13 awesome months. Fourth sub of the day. <clears throat> Alright, so what do we want to do? So they like are self milling and stuff also. Golgari style. I'm gonna play a couple of Noxious Grasp instead of Ritual of Set. Yeah, the goal of the deck is to reanimate Draggy Seth. We don't cast Draggy Seth. This can be a really good curve for us. Ugh. Stop milling over the lands when I need to draw lands. I'm supposed to mill over big spells. There we go. <clears throat> Got a seven drop in there. I guess they're going to exile it, though, with Binding of the Titans. No, my track is Ugh, Graveyard Hate. Or Dracky Seth. Meyer Triton Mirror.
Yeah, five is like the number of mana that I really want in the deck. What are you getting back, opponent? Close poor shaman. What did I play last MCQ? I played Abzan Hero. That thing has death touch. Right. <laughs> I forgot about that already. That's fine. Give me that. Give me that. I mean, the card's in my deck. Okay. So there's still Golgari stuff. Maybe we take out Thought Erasure. Have like Legion's End. Grasp. Come and get your I'll play an E to extinction. Okay. Basically just gonna play some more removal. Um, they don't really mind creatures being in their graveyard or anything, so I'm gonna get, just get rid of the discard. Discard would be like to take their discard. That, that doesn't, it's not a great proposition. All right, need to hit land drops. Scrying for lands. Sure. You can take one revival spell, but I will have more. Mwahaha. Land. Oh, uh, you are close to a land. But not a land. I think it costs like two if I could cast it. Dark Dubs! Five months. All right, so now we want to mill over big mana spells, spell, spell, and then draw land. Any Sultai decks soon? Um, not on the horizon, but probably soon enough. I mean, I'm sure we'll be playing Sultai. But I just don't know exactly when. Ugh. Like a Zoe, oh, I missed you. Were you seven? Yeah, it didn't pop up. Try try to refresh your stream, like a Zoe. And if you refresh, then there should be like a, a notification pop up that you can send. Yeah, thanks for returning, like a Zoe. 
Come on, Loaming Shaman. Who's playing Loaming? Why does our opponent have so much graveyard hate? Loaming Shaman, Binding of the Titans. Come on. At least those are spells. I want to draw lands. I don't want to mill over lands. Shafter. Our six of the day. Welcome, brand new to Triumph sub. Welcome, welcome. Ugh. Where does lands at? Yay. Uh, they got five cart five creatures in their graveyard with undergrowth for Golgari Raiders. They didn't even exile any either, so like we, we haven't seen any big creatures yet. We've seen every Noxious Grasp, the Legion's End, the E2 Extinction. We've seen like, you know, all every single one of those kind of cards. I mean, we're doing just fine, especially this last, especially they just drew a land for turn. Uh, Loaming Shaman. Bleh. Yeah. I'm gonna shuffle back a bunch of spells I don't want. Nope, they shovel back their own stuff. And there's an agent treachery. Just want to stay at a high enough life total. Well, we'll probably have this from here now. Hey Azraelth, I am I am getting better. I'm not a hundred percent yet. 
Yeah, I'm getting better. Thanks for asking. Um... So I'm at 25 cards. I don't think we have to worry about milling out. We're good. It's like we have the E2 Extinction as instant speed removal. We have the Thassa, which taps creatures. Um, I mean, I just have lethal this turn because I could just play Agent of Treachery and then turn on Thassa. Yeah, that's true. I could also just flicker Loaming Shaman to make sure I don't mill out. Yeah, Thassa, flicker Loaming Shaman and then put all those cards from my graveyard back into, into my library. Hey, what's up, Joe? No, no, that's... It's weird how Thassa's worded. The opponent does not get the card back. When you flicker your opponent's card with Thassa, it does say, it says exile something you control and then return it to play under your control. So you can control your opponent's creature, flicker it, and then it comes back into play under your control and it stays there for good. <laughs> the Undead Legion versus one, two, three, Steely Boy. Hey, Joe. Um, we're getting better, but now not 100% yet. Hey, Dessel. Just put that to the bottom. We got another one of those. Our opponent's a helpful miner. I could, I could mine, mine our library into our graveyard. That would be helpful. Double Thief of Sanity. Well then. And then the Nightmare Shepherd to protect the Thief of Sanity also. Yuck. Yuck. So I wanted to play the Tonebound Lich in case we would draw, I guess we would like put Agent of Treachery in the, the, like the Thief of Sandy put the Agent of Treachery in the graveyard. And then we would draw the Blood for Bones. It was not a very high chance of stuff of that happening. Hmm. I was, also, I was also hoping they would just use a removal spell this turn and not play the Nightmare Shepherd, and then I could Ritual of Set away the Thief of Sanity. But now that wouldn't do a whole lot for me.
Hmm. I guess we'll bring back the scholar. And have the scholar put bond and I don't know, like daughter Azure back in my hand. Yeah, decks on decks up on Stream Decker. And this is a link to the specific deck here also. I AJ Gomez. Well, if I would have, um, I would have just kept the ritual set instead of the Meyer Triton. Or at least like ritual of set again to kill the, the two of these now. They've done an incredible job of milling over lands. Alright, so they thieved better than we did. Alright, so probably play this Cry of the Carnarium. We'll play our own thieves. Hmm. What if we do like all this kind of stuff? They have that main deck card that got rid of graveyards and stuff. What if we Switch it up. Take out Draggy Seth Scholar. Take out Ritual. Take out Two Bond Revival. A Thassa. And two Meyer Triton. I like it. Here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good Thassa decks. Yeah, Teamer Elementals. Yep, is very good with her. The Azorius Flicker deck we played yesterday, I really liked. Um, if you want something a little a little off the beaten path, you can check that one out on, on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, Thass is, Thass is definitely a good card. We tried a Demir quasi-duplicate like Thassa deck with like Thassa and Grey Merchant, like copy Grey Merchant and Flicker Grey Merchant. It was pretty cool. It was more janky. It wasn't as good as the other ones, but... What do I think about Grixis right now? I honestly don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't tried or I haven't really tried playing a Grixis deck with the uh, new set yet and uh, haven't played against a Grixis deck or anything yet. So, Oh, Elephant Puddles, I'm sorry I missed your um, 
one that's a cool name but yeah sorry mr message i'm glad you're coming over here from youtube and saying hi and welcome to the stream i have not played a pod deck no no i know like this this was a, a really bad time for me to get sick earlier on in the week um well you know like how i'm just getting over it now because you know new set like i just love playing new decks and brewing up all the new stuff and, and i just haven't been able to play very many decks since theros has been out and that's pretty sad but i'm feeling better today than i have been in a while and hopefully we just keep on getting better and then we'll, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream pretty soon and getting a lot of decks in The owl. This pet is such a hoot. Yeah, yep, I'm feeling better, Kyle. So news on Hawkeye, not good. Um, so I didn't eat or drink anything yesterday. Um, I I gave him like some food and medicine through like a. Um, through like a syringe kind of thing like to the mouth you know like i don't know whatever that's called he doesn't like you know doesn't like that but got to give him stuff but he's going in tomorrow and hopefully it all goes well and you know the doctor can figure out exactly what's wrong with him and why he's not eating and stuff um for today i i took him in i drove into the vet to get him just some more Interesting. Well, they take Bond Revival. Interesting. Took him into the vet to give him some more... Um, give him more fluids and vitamins and stuff like that. Yeah, right now we're playing Demir Reanimator. So you can you can tell which deck we're playing by the, the little carrot symbol here next to it. So we're playing Demir Reanimator right now. We're currently 2 and 1. I, don't, I just don't have like a great way to stop this. I may regret not keeping that in a gate. Uh, Azrael, thank you so much. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. <laughs> we can tell Todd's feeling better because we're getting jokes now. It's kind of a weird new voice they have for Ashiok, isn't it?
I would like this castle, please. So I do think that they have, I think they have a Tyrant Scorn. As far as bouncing their own Thieves Sanity. For how they played it with the Ashiok, I'm pretty sure they have that. I was hoping stealing the land and they wouldn't draw a land and they would play Thief and then I would eat it to extinction it. Ah, they had Brazen Borrower. He tested. I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm not not perfect yet, but I'm getting getting better. Yeah, I think Esper Heroes is definitely a strong deck. Has a lot of just very good, efficient spells. It's not does have necessarily the most powerful spells, but very efficient spells. Probably should just do this first, send more information. Oh no! Those have been good cards to draw. Took the lands. I was hoping they were not going to take the lands. That was not what I wanted. <laughs> I draw my card, I start looking at my graveyard, and once I start looking at my graveyard, my phone's like, okay, you got it. I think I really want Thassa for this matchup, so I'm going to play a Ritual of Set. I got to kill Thief of Sanities. Hey, good job, Puddles. Good job. That's pretty awesome. Get Mythic with your own Soul Tiberi. That's That's awesome. Hey, Rochian. I'm starting to feel better. 
I, I have not seen any Hakdos yet. Starting to feel better, but I'm not 100% not still. Is it just me or are turtles cool? No, it's not just you. Turtles are cool. Get it. Hang out in a shell. Walk around. It's a really annoying hand. I mean, it's just the same hand I have. Just the same hand I had. All right, good. It's worked worked out how I wanted it to, and I kept the tone bound ledge to be able to use after that. All worked out. Papa Tim. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Um, man. I want to loot some more. My hand's not very good. Oh no! Oh no! I drew another one. My tone bound lynch. So I need another land before I can cast either of these, but I think there's a better chance that, you know, like it's not like that out of the realm of the possibilities that I just draw land here. Oh no, wrong land. I wanted to keep both of, I, the reason why I wanted to keep both instead of just one is because the disdainful strokes, I knew like the first one would get disdainful stroked and I wanted to have the backup.
I wonder what their other card is that they didn't, you know, they didn't just play Murderous Rider, then hold up Disdainful Stroke. I guess they wanted to activate Castle Lock Twain. I wonder what that other card is. I'm going to exile some cards with Erebos' intervention. Sure. Still, still stealing the shepherd. Thank you. You want to kill my agent treachery now? Do it. All right, now I need to take this castle lock, Twain. All right, sideboard plan worked. We weren't just only reliant on the graveyard, especially when they had a card like Erebus's intervention, and instead we had uh, our own Thieves Sandies to block their Thieves Sandies and Ashiok. Um, help close games out. <laughs> oh, did I just do a big yawn? Sorry. <laughs> I've had a real long day today. Taking care of my sleepy boy, Hawkeye. He's over there sleeping now. Land, yay. Pelt collector. So yeah, he goes in he goes in for the vet the real vet appointment tomorrow. But I still took him in today because I was just too worried about him just to get fluids and B vitamins. Interesting decision to not play a second land. Discard two cards. One, two. Where is a reanimate? They don't draw a land here. Oh, uh, no, they drew a land. They say they didn't draw a land there, and then we also drew a reanimate, then we'd be able to, you know, take their land. But we could never take their freedom. Let's see, let's attack first. Hmm. It's probably just better to do this. I, I was really tempted to just dispersal and bounce the Paradise Druid. Very tempted to do that. Do I want to draw land? Sure, I guess I'll draw land. I 
<laughs> no, Meyer Triton's not a worse Stitcher supplier. Because Meyer Triton trades with stuff, you know? Meyer Triton blocks this Yorvo. Like, that's still pretty cool. Trading with stuff is cool. Looks like a bunch of stuff that's going to kill me. <laughs> You're cold-blooded behind the wheel of this deck. I mean, you gotta be. That's what the all-agent treachery deck is. Oh, no. Oh, Meyer Triton. Okay, never mind. That's not a big deal. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I have to do... I do have to win kind of quickly. That's what the Drakki Seth can do. They still got to cast all their spells. They did a good job drawing a lot of lands in a row. After not playing a second land for a while. A Kral Harpooner can kill Dracuseth. If I kill all their creatures. Um. I guess we can just go... Not you. Just go attack, do four... Or let's see. Ah, uh, whatever. This is just lethal. All right, never mind. I just I should just kill him. I don't know. I was thinking I was like I could I could take out all their creatures and then dispersal. And make them discard the Kral Harpooner so they don't get to kill my Drakki Seth. But it's like, what's, what are we doing here? They're just dead. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to trim the discoveries. And... I want the Ritual of Soot, and I want the Noxious Grasps, and I want the E2 Extinction. So that's a lot of stuff. And Legion's End isn't really so so bad either. So Discovery is gonna go. Um, that's maybe a little too slow. I'm thinking, like, Thassa, Blood for Bones, Scholar of the Ages are the things I'm thinking about taking out. <laughs> I have not tried any Helio Devotion deck now. Is that Korox in the art? Could be. I'm not sure. It could be Korox. 
I have to take a look at Korox. Uh, I think we need a Legion's End. I don't know. We do have these little Death Touchers. Thought Erasure could be too slow. Maybe we play Legion's End instead of Thought Erasure. And then we're going to take out a Thassa, take out the Scholar, and then it's either Blood or other Thassa. Other Thassa. Or Croxa. Yeah, Croxa, not Korax. Croxa. Thassa has been been just fine in the deck so far. I'm kind of just concerned it's a little too slow for this matchup. It's either Questing Beast or Ember Cleave, obviously, because we can Ritual upset the other stuff. I'm just going to take the Questing Beast. It's going to represent a lot of damage. Crazy Caleb! Getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Thank you so much there, Caleb. But still, they go... Yorvo this turn, and then Ember Cleave next turn, and I'm, like, basically dead. Try to steal the cleave. That's a good call. Yeah, this is Demir Reanimator. Yep. That's too bad. I don't know if they got disconnected or what. That's too bad. Now they're back. Is the owl standing in a pool of blood? No, it's no. It's just like a, it's a little stand. The owl's just on a stand. Here, get off your stand. There. So you can kind of see it better there. E2 Extinction versus Murderous Writer. This deck that we're playing, I think this is a better E2 Extinction deck. We're not um, trying to play a real long game. Um... Give me that. Yoink. 
I think this is, yeah, so I, th I think this is a pretty good E to Extinction deck. Like, Murderous Rider, you want to be able to, like, kill their thing and then also play the, uh, um, also play the 2-3 and then get a, a good amount of value from the 2-3. Alright, so I'm glad we got to trade with like the creatures and everything to get you know, we want the creatures off the battlefield because of Ember Cleave. Oh cool, yeah, that that uh Simic Ramp deck looks pretty sweet, Chronic Slayer. Yeah, so we'll keep this land, that'll be six. We could double spell with Lich and Thirst. Hey, pockets. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice to have a tie, a uh, tie card sleeve. A, t a tie card sleeve. There we go. A tie card sleeve. Yeah, that would be nice. The the Selesnia, the fancy Selesnia guild sleeve is basically a, a tie sleeve. And I like it a lot. Especially as Selesnia is my favorite guild. It looks nice. At least it looks like fashionable neckwear. All right, so I think we have this one wrapped up. Close to it. I guess I guess we definitely do not have it wrapped up, but we're looking good. I didn't keep the Thought Erasure, even though it'd be nice to Thought Erasure away the Ember Cleave, because if we do that, they just flash in Ember Cleave. Tesla not. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I'm just gonna wait on the Agent of Treachery until they play something for me to really steal. I, I have uh, Castle Vantress activation with Noxious Grasp back right now. I'm I'm maybe supposed to be keeping that thirst for meaning. Our Tesla Knot was our 11th sub of the day. Update that. They have to attack with the Paradise Druid to do damage. And whenever they do that, I can Noxious Grasp the creature and then steal Ember Cleave.
Give me that. Need that sword. Get Tonebound Lich on that. First, the double strike death touch trample. Lifelink. All right, we're four and one. <laughs> Grixis Cleave. All right, we're on to the final boss. Let's go. Final boss playlist. Final boss. Final boss. Oh, we need some. Need some of those emotes. There we go. No, they can't. They can't equip cleave to something to get it back because they, they don't own the. They don't control the cleave anymore, so they can't. They can't do the equipping stuff anymore. Because now it's my cleave. Yeah, the two donation, the people with the donation decks today wanted to get theirs in first and second. I, I, can, I mean, I can do Golgari enchantments before Teamer Ramp. But the donation decks are first and second. Something else there. All right, so nothing to do on turn two yet. Probably gonna be going probably Lich on three and then Thassa on four so we can flick our Lich and just get that going. It is in Reef. Or I could go Thirst for Meaning and then have Ritual of Set afterwards. Maybe we should just do that. Draw three. Could just discard Thassa.
All right, got that thing out of here. How'd you prove? Um, yeah, like Azorius Control uh, definitely got some improvements with Theros. The you know that has like the the new four mana sweeper is awesome, and Dream Trawler is very good also. I think Shatter the Sky, Shatter the Sky, Dream Trawler. Those are definitely good cards for blue white control. Um, Simic Flash. I do like the five mana. Flash creature. I like that card. I'm gonna get rid of the temple. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the temple. We need to find an age of treachery. Um, I'm not sure exactly what else Simic Flash got from the new set. I'm sure there's other stuff too, though. Harness the elements. Um, I mean, we also have Thirst for Meaning. It's an another new card <clears throat> that we have now. It's a good one. Fable Passage gives them the fifth card in their graveyard to bring back Uro. Behold, nature's true power. <laughs> You're okay, man. Yep, we need Agent of Treachery. It's got to be one of the next four cards. We have 41. You know, we're 19 deep. We haven't seen it yet. It's got to be one of the next four. Uh, Dra we could take Dracuseth also. It's like we need Agent or Dracuseth, so we got those five. That we need those right now. We need one of those five in the next four cards. Uh, no, this this deck definitely wants Thought Erasure, not Agonizing Remorse. You want cards in your graveyard. There's really not that much escape in the metagame. There's like there are a, a couple escape cards, but that's not. Thought Erasure is a lot better. Especially with the reanimate deck. Uh, green whites, yeah, green whites really good. Um, I I really like the green white enchantment deck. Um, you know, I just had like a, a rough like day one draft that we did well with the other day that I think could be approved. I don't know if I'm supposed. To, I'm actually probably supposed to just keep the other agent of treachery. Hmm. My elemental friend. 
<clears throat> I mean, no, we have to steal Nissa because Nissa was about to ultimate. We'll steal Henge the next turn. We're just, just hoping that they kind of brick these two draws. They get two because they get their one, and then they can attack with Uro and get another. MHC. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for all thanks for all the content via the silent YouTube masses. Well thank thanks so much there. MHC. I'm getting I am getting better. Hawkeye is Um Not doing so great. But but he's going into the doctor tomorrow, and hopefully we can figure out exactly what's wrong with him and everything tomorrow. Okay, they bricked. That's good. Ooh. Wait, can I just hit cancel and then stop casting this card? I can do that, right? Yes, okay, good. Just in case they have like instant speed removal for some reason and didn't use it yet. Um, sure, discovery's just fine. I play land, I guess so. Oh yeah, I played the castle. The land fights for us. <laughs> Is agent and treachery good? Yes or no? Uh, I'd say yes. Yep, I'm pretty. I think it's pretty safe to say yes. Hey, Simbatayo. I already had an agent in the graveyard to reanimate. Yep, Thassa plus Henge does synergize to draw you cards. Yep. Henge is an ETB trigger. Let's see. Noxious Grasp is the obvious one. Coming on in. Let's see playing Ashiok. I mean, I like our game one plan. Don't want to change too much. I'll take out a Meyer Triton and the Ritual of Sits. I don't know. Sits so good against Risen Reef, Nissa, and Mana Creatures. <clears throat> yeah, this is Concerning Hobbits by Howard Shore. which is part of the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to take anything out. Ah, Discovery. Fine. You can go. 
Yeah, Theros did have some really good Demir stuff. Yep, definitely. I really like the Kraken. Kraken's pretty sweet. If you put an opponent card in your graveyard, no, you, you, can't, well, you can't do that. You can't put your... Opponent's cards can never go to your graveyard. They're just not really... That just never happens. Like, you can never put your, an opponent's card, shuffle into your deck, or shuff, or put into your graveyard. If you control your opponent's creature, and then that creature dies, it goes to their graveyard. Um, what am I putting back? I feel like it's probably Blood or Soot, but it's hard to know which one I want to put back. I guess we'll just put the Blood for Bones back. Yeah, hatred. Yeah, I really like the Jeskai Giants deck. Yeah, it felt, it felt strong. I liked it quite a bit. If that was an untapped land, I would have kept it because we do need another untapped land to go from two to three. But there was not an untapped land, so I put it to the bottom. I don't think I can put that in my graveyard and tell my opponent I have a because if I put that in my graveyard then they know that I have another one. Or they know like that's my plan, I think. I don't know. Like because otherwise like there's no reason for me to put that in the graveyard, like realistically. Unless I'm having another one and I don't know, maybe then they get to play around that. Um, Eat to Extinction is the four mana removal name. Okay, I was wrong. I should have taken should have taken Krasis, not Uro. I was wrong. I don't know why I I thought that they were only going to be able to draw one card with Krasis because that's not correct. I got to draw two. I should have taken Krasis. So I took the wrong card. <clears throat> it's just like a wall of text. It starts scrolling. Do you ever see that? The text on the right just starts scrolling. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, Death Touch does not... Yeah, so unfortunately, this is not not a good card for me to see. Um, my Death Touch stuff does not work well against Blue Kronos. Because the damage gets prevented, so the Death Touch gets prevented.
I should just discard the Tonebound Ledge. Instead of Soot. The opponent's sleeves, yeah, these are the Nessa sleeves. They sh they should have had Pelucranos fight. They should they they had three mana they didn't use. They should have just used the three mana and fight the Tonebound Lynch. I guess they maybe they don't realize how Death Touch is gonna work. Okay, they're just using the three mana on their turn. I could have just done that on my turn. Me this day and treachery back. <laughs> All right, so I think it's just a one one now. I guess we get to uh, flicker it, bring it back as a 6-6, six, 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 put a counter on it, draw a card, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's pretty good. And I have the ability to... Uh, Fight stuff now. I got green mana. <laughs> yeah, now this is Sult yeah, now we're playing a Sultai Henge deck. <laughs> it's amazing how our deck can transform. Earlier, you know, we we're playing Grexus Cleave. Now we're playing Sultai Henge. And that's a victory against the final boss. Five and one. There we go. And <laughs> now I wanted to see a game three. All right, too many two O's. There we go, get that gold. Let's, we're buying a pack to celebrate. Back, let's get two packs. I like staying around the 5,000 gold mark. Let's get two packs to celebrate. Our 5 1. We got an Underworld Breach and a Mythic. And a Mythic. Mythic Wild Card. Nice. There we go. There you go. Dragoo just says, thanks for defeating the final boss with my first ever donation deck. You're welcome. Yeah, it went, it went really well. Um, like I so about this deck, like I like I talked about before, I think this is a I think this is a very good best of one deck. Um, it it's it's gonna struggle sometimes against like the aggro opponents uh, that that just run you over. Like that's just gonna happen, and that that just happens to basically anything that you play in best of one. You know, like you're not gonna have like a super high win percentage. But I think this deck works pretty well in best of one, especially as far as Demir goes, because it's a 
it's a linear game plan of wanting to reanimate agent of treachery and and flicker it and stuff and that that game plan is good against everybody and so you don't really need like your sideboard cards um, as much with this deck so i could i could definitely see playing this in best of one um Yeah, I mean everything. Everything went pretty good. I liked the thirst for meanings. Um, you know, Meyer Triton and Tonebound Lich were both very solid early plays. Um, you know, maybe Discovery could be something else, but you know, Discovery was just fine. It's you know, it's just kind of does what it does. The Surveil Two Draw card. It's it's not like an all star or anything, but it's okay. And we saw against one one match against uh, Thief of Sanity, the dispersal having that option was really nice um what did we lose to that's a good question i don't remember if anybody else remembers um yeah then best of one you get to re uh oh did we lose against that the loaming shaman deck no we beat that deck right i don't remember what we lost to um but yeah you get to yeah you get to avoid graveyard hate that people could have in their sideboard um question is if i was playing best of one would i change anything honestly no the the thing that i would watch for though with if you're playing this best of one is you may need a third ritual of soot in the main if you're playing against a whole lot of aggro all the time you need you just need some more defense you may need a third ritual of soot and that would probably be probably be over um like a discovery or a thirst for meeting like maybe maybe I guess maybe what you could do is for best of one play another set just take out the two discoveries because your mana is usually pretty good in best of one so hopefully like this is enough like you know eight two drops and three drops and stuff um play another set and then play a um and enter the god eternals maybe you just want like this is like another like you know Removal spell, gain four life, make a four four, and mill yourself four cards. You know, maybe you want those two things. So that's that's another yeah. So like maybe you just want those instead of the discoveries. Um, that's something to uh, think about. <clears throat> um. Yeah, or yeah, or you could just play all, all four sets in best of one or play Cry of the Carnarium in best of one. Yeah, you know, you, you could also do that. You could you could take out the two discoveries for two Cry of the Carnariums also. Um, you know, you could just kinda kinda play with play around with it and see. Um I think two I think two Thassa was enough. Because, um, you know, like while Thassa flickering agent treachery is amazing, when when you don't have that, Thassa's not doing a whole lot. Fa Thassa can flicker Triton and Tonebound Lich, but that's not really worth a four mana card. Um, but of course, flickering agent treachery is just awesome. So I think two's enough because the deck has a, a good amount of card draw. Um, you know, like with you know discovery, thirst, tonebound lich. You know, like you get to you get to go pretty far through your through your deck, and you can find Thassa. And if you mill over Thassa, you can bring Thassa back with these things. Also, I think two is good. Yeah, we we got to take an Ember Cleave. Um, I thought Erasure away Questing Beast, so we didn't have to deal with that thing. You can steal an Ember Cleave that's equipped, but the equipment doesn't fall off when you gain control of it. So their creature is still equipped. Um, you would you would then have to you after you steal it, you'd have to then pay the the three mana equip cost to equip it to something else. Um. Yeah, no, I didn't have any Bond of Insight or Clear the Mind. No, no, I don't. I don't think you need those cards. Okay, um, so there we go. So there's Demir Reanimator. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Also, lots of comments on our videos yesterday. I really appreciate that. Um, lots of people uh, wishing Hawkeye well and everything like that. So thank you, everybody on YouTube. Um, but that's it here for Demir Reanimator. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.